seems like a torture device. <laughs> it just looks, looks. I don't know, either torturous or really, really wonderful. Good point. That Six. Brian Williams would like that. Yeah. Cat. I thought you were going to say, and speaking of torture, <laughs> <laughs> here's Kate Bell Chauffeur. Kate Bell Chauffeur is here again with What's Trending. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Hello. So here is What's Trending. Facebook is getting into the dating game, and why not? After all, let's not forget the social media giant apparently got its start due in part to Mark Zuckerberg's inability to deal with a failed relationship. Oh. Lemons or lemonade or something. Anyway, that was a long time ago. I didn't invent Facebook, but I definitely got mixed up with some real losers in college. The <laughs> Facebook CEO shared this latest news during a developer conference in San Jose. It will be a new feature you can opt in or opt out of, unlike the poke feature, which still exists for some godforsaken reason. Friends will not be in the mix here. Zuckerberg's not trying to hook you up with some person you haven't seen since high school, unless you are into that, in which case do you. It is designed to meet new people. You can set up a dating profile and proceed from there. He did say safety and security are a top priority, as is helping people find real, meaningful relationships. And they're on Facebook anyway, so why not? Real, meaningful relationships on Facebook? Yep. <laughs> That's all. It's an oxymoron, I think. The Facebook app is called How You Doing? Yeah. <laughs> it all click started here. in Farmville. Yeah, <laughs> click here. <laughs> also this morning, this is very cool. A lot of buzz surrounding this Toy Story plane. It was created by China Eastern Airlines to commemorate the opening of Shanghai Disney Resort's new Toy Story-themed land last week. It fully immerses passengers in a Toy Story experience. Here's my concern. Remember that creepy evil bear from Toy Story 3? Oh, yeah. He's on the ceiling of the plane. <laughs> so, but hopefully not at the controls. But I didn't like that. I was like, no, you can't. See, there wow. he is, leering down. <laughs> That was my one uh, issue with this. But finally today, if you think Meryl Streep is great in anything, you're probably right, including this Instagram. Taste of Streep features the iconic actress <coughs> in her various roles superimposed into everything from a bloomin' onion to a bowl of Fruit Loops. It is next level absurd and the brainchild of Instagram user, this is a great name, Pizza Hauntus. Love it, <laughs> love Isn't it. great? She's in a Cadbury egg, look at that. that and a taco salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what would oh, daybreak, what, what, what should we be superimposed Brian. into? I don't know. They've got everything covered, even a Samoa cookie there. <laughs> I love it. Wow. Mix Who's nuts. got the time to do that? I don't know, but they make the internet a happy place for someone like myself. And thank you for finding things. it for us, Kate, <laughs> and bringing it to you, us. You brought up something that Facebook started with, like when it launched in 10 years ago, poke. I remember that was the first thing I remember from Facebook. Is Look, what does that asked, mean and why are you doing it to me? it's still there. Is it still there? I checked it before I came out. I'm like, is, is poke still? Somebody poked still you. Exist. Yeah. Yeah. That was like. Never What poke. is this Facebook stuff? And look, look where we are today.